Hello everybody, welcome back to some mega modded Isaac. We're jumping in again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, we're gonna randomize. Ooh, Apollyon. Apollyon's a bit of a fun one. We'll give him a go. Car. <laughs> I always forget about car. Car is the best of all of us. Car is car is the ultimate. The one, the only, the car. And quad shot right off the bat. Do you know what? Hell yes. Quad shot's a little bit of a saucy one to take off the bat. I'll admit it, but I actually do like it quite a lot. I, I don't know, it, it feels like one of those items that everyone takes every time and most people love seeing, yet it still kind of gets some hit. <laughs> and I think it's just because obviously low fire rate is, is bad. That was almost really dumb. But yes, question of the day today. Ooh, ooh baby, I haven't thought of one yet, so this is gonna be an on the fly. On the fly sort of one. Where where would you like to visit in the world if you could visit anywhere? I really want to go to New Zealand for multiple reasons. One, because... Ooh, hello. Because Never Named is there and I'd, I'd, I'd very much like to go visit him. He has become quite a close friend and it'd be really awesome to see him in real life. But also because it's just a fucking amazing place. Like, that place is... I mean... UK has some interesting stuff going on, but it's like New Zealand's on another level. Like, the nature, the landscapes, the, essentially the everything is just so much better over there. I was kind of thinking of maybe letting you live, Baby Plum, but do you know what? Screw that. I want Pentagram, and you will give me Pentagram. Do you know why? Because I have asked for Pentagram. You cannot deny me what I'm heard. Oh my god, having quad shot is enough to, like, bash her around. It's really funny. Yeah, you cannot deny me what I am owed. You will give me pentagram. You will give me pentagram. Do you know what? That is close enough. You tried. You really tried. I'd actually argue that that's better than pentagram. So do you know what? Props to you, game. You did a good thing. <laughs> you did a good thing. I've kind of been thinking recently. I've not. It's not like a fully formed plan yet, so don't expect it to happen anytime soon. But I wanted to kind of get your guys' feedback on this. I've kind of maybe been thinking of starting a new save file for the series, but not a new new save file. Not like starting from zero, but more so. Um, oh god, god damn. More so for one actually unlocking the um the stuff from the modded characters legit and having a fully reset post-it note save file that is dead god i don't know if you guys know but if you um if you start any save file and then go into the uh go into the bestiary or whatever it's called uh ooh, it was quite nice go into the bestiary and then um you i think it's like all f2 or control f2 what it'll do is it'll um, basically update the game, uh, the in-game achievement list to all of to match all of your Steam achievements. So because I have Dead God on Steam, it'll give me Dead God in-game. But the caveat is it doesn't actually fill in any of your post-it notes. It it keeps all of your post-it notes completely blank. So essentially, we could redo all the post-it notes again, but we would still have. Um, Ooh, interesting. Uh, heals a broken heart at the start of each floor. Entering a new floor has a chance to reveal more rooms that are nearby. And then we also have Special Penny. That's pretty good. I'm going to take the Sextant, I think. Um, we don't have any reason to get broken hearts right now. So the other one's useful, but not amazing. Leo. Do you know what? Leo's good enough. Leo's good enough. I know that we haven't um, sucked anything up yet, but still. But yeah, um, so basically we could have a completely fresh save file, but we still have Dead God and all the items unlocked from Dead God, which I think could be quite fun, because then we get all the modded items that are already unlocked in many of the packs that don't have unlocks, like Repentance Plus and stuff, also bad damage. Uh, but we'd get to like go through and, and kind of re-unlock things, which I don't know, I feel could be quite fun. So I've kind of got that idea bouncing around in my brain right now. It's not a set in stone thing that I'm going to do, but it's something that I've certainly... Uh, I certainly think would be kind of fun. I did do it briefly when I was doing my uh, Tale of Two Lukes with uh, Rogue Luke. Uh, that unfortunately kind of ended abruptly because Rogue Luke just changed uh, job, which mean, it meant he had to pretty heavily relocate and wasn't able to record anymore. So that was a shame, but honestly, I had a lot of fun with it. And yeah, I think maybe 
doing some sort of a revival of that, but for the normal series. Could be kind of fun. Let me know what you guys think. And like I said, it also involves us probably um, going through and actually proper properly unlocking all of the um, modded items, which again, I think could be fun. I really would like to get into my secret rooms, but I have no bombs. Um, oof. This is not good. Not great. Although, member card is pretty good. Obviously, there's nothing in here that we could actually afford for one penny. But I feel like I, ch I should check it anyways. Um, okay, we have an Eternal Heart back that way. Probably won't get our Devil Deal here, but I honestly don't really care. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Min Min with... Low fire rate, low HP, probably not going to be great. Especially considering with quad shot and low fire rate, we're going to have a kind of a hard time hitting everyone at once. Although, this is going a lot better than I thought it would. Maybe I underestimated how good quad shot would be for this fight. I thought it would be really bad, but it, it's seemingly being quite good. There you go. That, that went really well, actually. So we did get a devil deal. I'm pretty happy to take that. We need to fire right up. And Devil Deal, I'm going to leave you as you are. We're apparently going to the Beast here. I've honestly not really been paying too much attention to our uh, our run goal location. Like, if I manage to go in, then so be it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change what I'm doing on the run to to match it. It's it's just a suggestion. Anyways, we'll carry on forward. Just gonna pause really quick once we get to the next floor here. One second, PPOs. Okay, we are back. And again, I turned off my music. I was in a call. I, I, I have a very strange work schedule where essentially with my job, I, I work whenever I want. Like I, I join calls when needed, but like do my actual physical work when I want to do it. Essentially, as long as it gets done, my, my boss and whoever I'm working with don't really, wow, this was a terrible idea. I'm going to still, I'm going to keep doing it, keep doing it though. Cause why not? Um, uh, no, um, uh. <laughs> this was all such a terrible idea. I'd love that half soul heart. Oh, wait. I can get the half soul heart. Can, uh, wait, can I? Yes. <laughs> that was a risk and a half, but I did it. Uh, but yeah, essentially because of the way my work is, my I, I kind of just like get to work when I want, which, which is really good for my YouTube because it means that I can kind of record when I feel like recording. I don't really get forced into, into any particular schedule, which is, is really, really nice for me. Um, and so I just had to quickly jump on a call there because, like I said, some, some uh, sometimes I record during the day and that means that sometimes I get called. So normally whenever I'm pausing, which is again going to be in a second because I do actually have another pause coming up, it's normally due to that. <laughs> I do apologize for that, but I think for the most part, because of the way OBS recording and pausing works, it doesn't make any difference to you guys. As you can see, you can even tell I paused. All you can see is that I paused my screen. I got some bombs here, so I'll plant one of them there. It might get us a, 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 a few kills as well. Beautiful. Is that a set double? Do you know, I, I get so confused by these, um, these double tinted rocks. Because look, there's like a tiny little X in the top left of that, and I'm like, ugh. By the way, did I even answer my question of the day? I don't know if I did. I can't remember. Uh, if I didn't... Oh, I did. No, I did. I said New Zealand, didn't I? I definitely said New Zealand, right? I can't remember. Even if I didn't, I said uh, New Zealand's my answer <laughs> again. Wait, is that a... Okay, I thought it was a sticky nickel then. I will go back quickly and do our second secret room. I'm trying to be a little more proactive on getting our secret rooms as much as possible at the moment, just because I think they're worth a lot to us. Um, with this run in particular. Unfortunately, that one, not so much. I will bash out a few pennies on this bad boy, though. Thank you. Just because we have a half red heart here, which... But, do you know what? I was just about to say, why would I even go for this? But you know why, because I'm a mad lad. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. With, with grace and aplomb. My god. Can you believe it? The grace that I did that with. Well, so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying this run. We had uh, our last run I did it. I actually recorded that earlier today as well. Our Tainted Isaac run. That was a really fun one too. We've been having some very fun runs recently. It's one thing I, I genuinely do feel a little bit bad about sometimes. Also, we need a key. I genuinely do feel a little bit bad about sometimes. Is that, like, inherently, pretty much every YouTuber out there has this, has this built-in YouTuber look. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know. I don't know what births it. But every single YouTuber seems to have it, and I especially do. Um, in pretty much every game I play on my channel. Um, and obviously, oh, this is frustrating as shit. Um, and obviously, that kind of means that I get. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Crawl space. 
that means that I get a lot of really good runs. And it's just like, look, I see lots of people in the comments like, why can't I ever get runs like this? And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, let's pop that. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I do get, like, genuinely just incredible luck on my uh, runs. We'll grab that real quick. Oh, rules card. Thank you. That's our first thing we voided. Unfortunately, it was near to worthless. Uh, right. Let's go and do our boss. Again, we're a little bit in a sore spot for health. Would have really liked to have kept my half soul heart. For this boss, I can use bombs on this guy, and do you know what? I'm going to. Uh, just because this guy can be an absolute pain if you don't. I want my uh, angel deal. And we- what? We didn't even get one. Oh. But it was only a 36% chance though. This has kind of annoyed me now though, because I just used my void on a completely worthless pickup, and now I get matchbook, which I could have used it on. But to be fair, matchbook ain't bad. Let's go. Matchbook ain't bad. So I'm not exactly sure how this sextant is working. I haven't really seen it do anything yet. It's supposed to be like revealing rooms, right? Let me just quickly read the description of it again and see if I've got this right. Entering a new room has a chance to reveal more rooms that are nearby. Okay, essentially yes. Um, and it also automatically reveals any planetarium that we would get, which is decent. Obviously not a huge priority. Most of the time I, I search the whole floor anyways, so I'd see a planetarium regardless, but still. So we will try, 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 as we must. Wait, I think I skipped an item room on that last floor, so I do actually have a chance of getting a planetarium now, uh, which means it's a little more relevant. We haven't got one this far, unfortunately, but 21% chance over the next few floors. It's, it's, it's in the stars for us. It's written in the stars. Ooh, petrified poop. You do tempt me, sir, petrified poop. You do tempt me, sir. That was close to bombing that guy automatically, but doesn't matter, the other fly got him. We have great damage right now. Really good damage. Ooh, I will take that most definitely. This is a trinket that I absolutely love that is nowhere near common enough. <laughs> I never see it, but it's so good. Do you know what I need? I need something that's going to give us some tighter spread. I don't know, is, what, what items would give us tighter spread? Technically tractor beam, but that's less of tighter spread and more... There's no spread. <laughs> Oh shit, another two of them. Good, good, got a penny there. I don't really care about that for now. What the hell just happened there? I like, I realized I walked on a mushroom and blew it up, but I didn't think I was close enough to walk on it. I forget with Stompy, I have pretty, pretty stonking huge hitbox. My character is looking quite grotesque, by the way. I didn't even mention it, but he is looking like quite the chap. I do definitely want some more fire rate, though. Just because s these smaller enemies are really kind of teeing me off a little bit. I don't know why I said teeing me off. That's golf, isn't it? Do you really get teed off? I guess. Ooh, now this is a question. Do we want the chance to spun? Or do we want more stats? I think what we want, actually, for now, is to not take it. Go and fight our boss and see if we get another syringe. If we get another syringe, then it makes a little more sense. We've also got some rainbow poops here. I really wish I hadn't destroyed that one. Because had we have gotten um, a sacrifice room on this floor, which so far we don't have, but again, it could, it could appear, it could appear, I would uh, very much like to take advantage. But yeah, we'll see what we get from our boss. And then we shall see. We shall see. Oh, but yeah, I, I've, I'm, I'm at the minute, I'm kind of... Oh my god, I'm kind of an idiot is what I am. I'm kind of craving playing some more Star uh, Lego Star Wars. I'm just... The nostalgia is too much. It's it, it's hit me like a ton of bricks. I, I just... I love it. Nostal nostalgia is such a, a strange and powerful phenomenon. Like, it's crazy how much of a driving force it is within our lives. Like, and the thing is as well, it's kind of interesting because like... I, th I feel like one of the main reasons you have nostalgia for things from when you were younger isn't because it was something that you really liked when you were young. Like, that is obviously part of it, but I don't think that's the core reason. I think one of the core reasonings is it was in a, it was a time during your life where you had very little problems and responsibility. Um, when you're... God damn, we're getting, we're getting Stopwatch a lot recently. I'm not going to complain because Stopwatch is very, very good. We also got a mega chest here, which is unfortunate because we don't have the... Uh, Ability to actually open it. We only have one key. 
I think I should take say should take stopwatch though. Ooh. Question. Does sharp key allow us to open the mega chest? I've got to go and check this now because that that could be a nice little nice little tizzy there for us. Um sharp key Isaac. Uh da 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 da, da. notes synergies interactions i'm not really seeing anything specific about it unlocked chests uh, such as golden chests eternal chests or old chests can be opened using sharp key all other effects are unaffected it doesn't specifically say anything about it but i feel like i feel like we might be able to if we can get the money for it obviously abuse that a little bit in order to open up that mega chest for us for the cost of a single key which if it works is i don't know it feels feels pretty good right i'll go and uh, use those blood donation machines i guess either that do you know what i'll just blow them up i think i got a better chance if i just blow them up right see and we got a half soul heart Protects that angel deal chance. Right. So this might not work. Honestly, this might not work. But I feel like I owe it to science to try. But yeah, I, I feel with nostalgia, it's, it's kind of interesting. Because it, it does mainly just come from you wanting to sort of feel like you did at a time where you had no problems. Or you had very little problems. And I feel that's kind of interesting. I feel truly cheated. Although... Picking it up did give us. Yes. Oh, we got Camel Undies too. Camel Undies is great. Um, Serpent's Kiss. Bah. I think we can reroll Serpent's Kiss. Wait. Okay, it didn't reroll. It doesn't matter. Okay, do you know what? I forgot that picking up Sharp Key gave you plus five keys. So that worked out just fine. That worked out just fine. And we got Camo Undies, which, as you know, got a pretty significant buff recently. And with Quad Shot, it's it's quite the craziness. It really is. And this guy could give us a black heart because he died to contact damage. Damn. I will take that. I kind of need it. And in here, we get an assortment of hearts. I mean, it's all right, I guess. It's all right, I guess. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, honestly, camo undies are crazy for us now. So, for I think it's for one second or half a second after uh, coming out of camo with camo undies, you get a huge damage and fire rate boost. So, for that one second, it's, a, it's essentially a guaranteed kill on any enemy in the room or a significant amount of damage to a boss. Yeah, I, I, I didn't really know what he was going to do there. I lost my Zealot heart. I'm very sad about that. Thank you for my bomb back. Certainly helps. I just want him to kill himself on the fire. Just do that do that favor for me. And I'll be very happy. It's pretty funny that that even works. <laughs> it's like... You were literally live in this room with this fire, yet you're so easily influenced into walking directly into it. Come over here, little fella. Stop standing still, walk into the fire. Boom. Suck him up, bad boy. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get all that much good stuff out of that, but there you go. But yeah, we get a huge fire rate and damage boost, which is, yeah, it's just, Camelondi's got turned into a genuinely really fun item. It went from complete and utter trash to actually has some some benefits. Let's carry this bad boy on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, exci I'm excited to uh, to see how Camelundis ends up working out for us. Like, look at that. Like, that enemy just insta dead. Also, having a mulligan spew out flies for us every now and again. Not bad, not bad. Sun card? Honestly, I'm just going to use this in the next room available. Here comes the sun. We also got a luck penny here. Obviously, we are looking for a key at the minute to go to our item room. It's a little annoying that we end up having our item room so close to the start of the floor. So we don't get a key now, we're going to have to do some major backtracking. 
But Camo Undies does give us a significant speed boost. Oh, I fired at an enemy that is invincible. Good for me. Yeah, it gives us a significant um, fire rate boost. So, uh, what am I know, speed boost. So, moving between rooms outside of combat is actually way more tolerable. Yeah, it's a, it's a genuinely very cool item now. Also, mistakes were made. Now, we might be able to get some black hearts out of those dudes if we play our cards right. Damn it, no black hearts. We did get Magician. I like Magician. Still keep forgetting to uninstall Sigmonstra. I just love him too much. He's just too much of a chad. But yeah, look, we get this huge speed boost outside of combat. It's really nice. Ooh, pretty decent item here. Uh, every now and again, we're going to fire these big sort of arrows. I don't know. Arrows, yeah? Yeah, there you go. Look, I like that there. And they're, they're pretty decent. Also, we managed to get a holy mantle from somewhere. I don't exactly know where that, where that came from, but I shall accept it. Grab, grab, grab. Okay, so let's take a little look around here. We've got some enemies down here. Honestly, maybe... Nah, I was, I was trying to see if I could, like, somehow force them to walk into the fires, but unfortunately, because I'm camoed, I have no influence over their movement. So those arrows that are fleeing out of us aren't gonna, like, be aimed at anything in particular. They fly out pretty randomly. Still pretty nice to have, nonetheless. You see, you see how beautiful that is? How truly amazing that is? We need to buff Leo so that you can open stone chests by walking on him. Be a nice buff for Leo. But when they do hit, the arrows do a good job. But yeah, like, what's, what's the sort of last thing for you that, like, caused some serious, serious nostalgia? Obviously, like I said, for me, it's Star Wars. I used to play that game with my cousin all the time. Um, so I've got a lot of nostalgia for that right now. So this is a great example of where camo undies is very, very helpful. Able to get the hell out of the way of all of that crap. Managed to get another soul heart there as well. The shop, unfortunately, is viable because we have Steam Sale, but not viable because we don't have keys. I swear, over the last, like, four or five episodes, I've been severely lacking keys a lot. Like, a lot and a lot. Oh, hello, crawl space. I almost certainly accept thee. And there's the key. Okay, so maybe we'll go back to our item uh, thingy now. Hello, though. This is something that I, uh... I quite like. Although, I tell you what, no I don't, because there's no items in here. I didn't even know there was one of these that didn't have items. What magic skin, though? Okay. Goodbye, Void. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Goodbye, Void. Now I really wish I had that thing that removed a broken heart at the start of every floor. God damn, that trinket would have been so good right now. So, so good. Right, so... Soul Heart's probably pretty good purchase. That's decent. Wait, was that Tinted Rock down there? One second, let me, let me just hop back down. I think we probably just want to re-roll on the shop. I might buy the Soul Heart first, though. Although, no, maybe not. We're on fine health. Let's not waste our money. Let's just go for the re-rolls. PhD. PhD's pretty good. I'll buy PhD. Puberty. Right. Let's go back and pop Magic Skin. See what we might get. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm really annoyed that I don't have that trinket now. Uh, you never know when you're gonna get something great like this. It's a big, it's big sad to see. Did we have a battery charge in here by any chance? No, we did not. Okay. Keybum, of course, terrible first pickup, but I shall accept for what it is. Oh, really? You ate up all of that for no reason. All of that power. A hey, extra keys are really nice here. Even though I have no reason to use Herming. Oh, I just about to say no reason to use Herming. Holy hell, those arrows gain Herming. Didn't think about that. Hey, look, it's Pentagram. I asked for that a while ago. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. Wah. Gross item. No thank you. 
I will not be partaking. I will be anti-partaking. I will be leaving you very much behind. Okay, our character's looking a little more normal now. We seem to have shredded the Leo hair and the uh, the growth hormones lumps and got ourselves to slightly more semblance of normalcy. I'm not going to bother with that right now just because we have so few keys uh, coming towards us. I'd rather not risk what we currently have. But yeah, it seems like Herming would be really, really good with the setup we have right now. Stars. Saves us a key. Oh, damn, Planetarium. Okay. Neptunus built up a um, mass tier bonus over three seconds. Ooh, I very much like that, yes. Also, 100%. Plus one empty heart contain a 5% chance to heal for double the amount of damage taken. Each hit increases the chance of healing, after which resets, heals the soul heart, as well as taking red heart damage no longer decreases angel and devil chance. Huh. Spurred! Oh my lord. God damn, my character looks pretty cool for Spurred. That is a ridiculous bonus when we're coming out. Oh my god. And that's Herming. I, I want to get at least one more planetarium item this floor, but I, I am very much willing to take Herming there. And we have the trinket that makes it one room charge. So it's it's full Herming. I ask for Herming, and I receive Herming. Honestly, holy hell. With a full Neptunus build with camo undies, this is ridiculous. What, what, like, I need to record what tier rate we get up to there. All the golds. It goes up to like 4.63. That's way higher than 4. It says 4. Way higher than 4. I might even go doubles on magic skin in the planetarium and try and get another item here. Uh, the Vesta. Vesta's pretty good. I like Vesta. I'm going to go one more. I'm going to go one more deep. I think we can get the charges for it. I'm so happy that I'm like... Ooh, Herming would be so good with our build. And it's like, here's Herming. Ooh, I'd love Pentagram. Here's Pentagram. <laughs> the game's so kind to me sometimes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Creatine powder. Hell yes. I would very much like creatine powder. Beautiful. It was like 13 cent, I think. That's insane. That's genuinely insane. Compared to our normal fire rate. A normal fire rate is decent. But look at that bad boy. Oh. Sexy. <laughs> I think it, I think Neptunus doesn't actually count towards your tier rate at all. Which is why we're seeing way more tiers than it looks like we're seeing. Or oh, than it looks like we should be seeing, should I say? Jupiter. Honestly, our speed's fine. Let's just take it. And come to me, Poppy. I do realize that magic skin will now show up, but we are on the last floor in which it really matters. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, now we can use this every single room. We have Herming in every room. Which, as we saw, is really good with these spectral arrow things. Oh my god, that is... That is glorious. Glorious. We're meant to be going to the beast. I, I don't even want to. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I forgot the card, but... Um... Duh, 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 duh. We'll go this way. We got this again. I think piercing is is 100% the right cho the right choice here. Also larger uh, larger hitbox for our tiers too. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I am very happy with how this has all turned out. Very much wish I could sh shed out some of these broken hearts with that cool combo I had going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, telepills could be great. Telepills. Nope. It saved us traveling about two seconds. 
In fact, I backtracked to get it, so it saved me essentially no time at all. Also, now I've got to actually remember to use my uh, spacebar every room, which is going to be hard to remember. But, so, so worthwhile. Crawl space again. How are we getting so lucky with these? Also, no thank you. It's another one of these ones, too. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> such a, such a good, <laughs> such a good selection. That's really funny, that. I'm going to screenshot that real quick. Hey, pennies, you've ruined my screenshot. Get out of here. Same with you, gas clouds. Give me a second. I want to screenshot this. It's really funny. Go away, gas cloud. Go away, Vesta. <laughs> there you go. I think that's really funny. <laughs> Would you like magic skin? Magic skin? Magic skin? Magic skin or magic skin? Hmm. Such a tough decision. I think I'll go with magic skin. No, I think I'll go with free herming. It's literally free real estate. I could live on this herming. Oh. <laughs> the power. Oh, look, it's magic skin. Ooh. What do you reckon will be in the devil deal? Will it be magic skin? <laughs> I don't think it can be from this guy, right? No, it can't. Sadly, we got the wrong one. I would have loved to have got Lump of Coal. Oh, well. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing quite a lot of magic skin now. I don't mind. This build is set in stone. This build is Rosetta Stone. Come on, doofus. Show me your face. Open up your face hole. I've already got, like, the thumbnail for this episode brewing. It's always beautiful when, when I'm record. Like, sometimes I'll record a video and I'll be like, what the fuck am I going to title and thumbnail this? Like... It might be that nothing super notable happened or I didn't get any super notable synergies or items. So it's a little bit difficult. But this one, the thumbnail essentially creates itself. It's brilliant. Because it's like, we've got the we've got the avenue of magic skin. Magic skin we can fit in there. That's always a, a nice one to throw in. But also, I think camo undies plus, um, plus... Neptunus in the thumbnail and like a title of buffed camo undies or something along those lines. It's gonna be Moi BM. Very spicy. I always I always enjoy these runs too because obviously I enjoy playing them. I think they're just really fun. A lot of people say, oh, don't, don't you get bored of overpowered runs, but I actually don't because for me, I'm just chatting shit while I'm playing them. So they're actually kind of chill to just like talk while I'm, uh, while I'm playing them. Um, but... I actually really like them because I have such a decent backlog of videos. Like, I have, like, a two-week backlog, which means I quite often completely forget an episode until I go to upload it. Oh, look, it's Magic Skin. Um, until I go to upload it, I completely forget what, what happened in an episode. So, like, in, like, two weeks' time when I go to upload this, I'll have a nice surprise when I remember this run and go, Ooh, ooh it was that run. Awesome. God damn. The absolute powerhouse that is this run. But this is this is sort of, I was kind of saying a little bit earlier, I can't remember if it was in the last episode or just early on in this episode, about YouTuber look. And this is kind of what I mean. But I like, I quite literally asked for two very specific things this run. And it gave me them. <laughs> it was like here. And like, especially for the like telep telepathy for dummies, it didn't just give me telepathy for dummies. It gave me the trinket that makes it a one room charge, which essentially makes it into herming. Just regular old herming. Like, that's crazy. That is just nuts. Stopwatch is making this a rather slow affair. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you are dead. Hush is certainly interesting. I think we'll go for Hush. With Herming and stuff, I think I think we've got a good shot at it. Oh look, it's magic skin. How about magic skin? Do you know what? Not very good for us, really. 
Although, I suppose, whatever. Speed down, but I don't really care. Oh, look, it's magic skin and magic skin. Plays bomb here, I like that. What's down here? Magic skin? Oh, look, it's magic skin! Damn! Can't believe it. It's crazy. There's apparently a tinted rock there I didn't see. Oh, it's magic skin, look. Damn, no crawl space. PJs? Oh, that's so good for us. But we're already at full HP. I probably should have left it until we until we came back out in hindsight, but. Hello, sir. You have been destroyed. Unfortunately, Rotgo is just in an awful position. He's not gonna be basically of any use whatsoever to us. If he spawns in the middle, he's insane. He like sucks up literally every shot this dude fires. Hello. Unfortunately, with our regular fire rate, we don't actually deal a ton of damage. It's only with our big bursts that we do a lot when we fire our, like, arrows. But I will keep with it nonetheless. I could try and, like, drag him over towards um, Rotgut, but I don't think he ever, like, settles his butt down in the corner. I've never seen him do that before, but I don't think it's really that worthwhile. Get a few Neptunus charge going. I like that a lot. We could also use a few bombs here. Just to get a bit of extra damage out there. It's not a lot, but... This also means Neptunus is charging up a little bit as we do it. Okay. Yeah, this, is, this might be a little bit of a longer fight than I was anticipating. Well, I mean, we're, we're nearing halfway through it. It's not terrible. But I don't know why. I thought it would be a lot quicker on this. But I suppose our room clearing potential essentially boils down to the first of one second of entering the room. And the rest of it is just kind of average. Like, this is this is a good run. If, if, if like, I was ranking this amongst my most powerful runs, this is definitely, like, a notably powerful run without the ability to insta-kill every room at the first second, but that first second is like top 10 run. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are now all out of bombs. So we are just at whim of Hushy Hushy himself. I'm just glad we got piercing. Piercing has made this even better. It is very, very good. But it's going to be a little bit of a just chill session for now. We're just going to be riding the wave, so to speak. Riding the wave. And letting him slowly but surely die. Hopefully more arrows fire. Unfortunately, we did get this attack. Which is one that, honestly, with flight isn't so bad. But I still don't like. That's why I don't like it. It kind of forces you to run into his other attacks. Which I think is kind of bullshit. <laughs> but... We just gotta deal with it. Dude, three times? Three times in a row. Back to back to back. No remorse, sir. No remorse. You have no integrity. Oh, and look. He's getting low health, so he's scared. I will say, though, he has been very lacking on his continuum attacks. Very lacking. Quickly go and grab the soul heart again. So luckily we didn't even need PJs. And we'll head up here. I like to throw a hush in there on runs that we don't like. End up going to the intended goal path. Ooh, Red Min Min is dead. This is interesting. Red Min Min. I like him. He looks pretty. The champion uh, mod is just... I, I keep saying it, but it is genuinely fantastic. So high quality. Really reminiscent of the vanilla champions. Which obviously is the intention, but they did a very good job at it. 
a lot of uh, mods try to mimic vanilla style and, and don't do as good of a job. Right, unfortunately, wrong way the first time around. And you have been bested again. Oh, it's just beautiful. The camo undies buff is my favourite. I never thought I'd love camo undies so much. What on earth? I realise we have Stompy, so our chances of finding crawl spaces is higher. But we've been finding, like, like, one every floor. Oh, look. It's magic skin. I do wonder what we're going to get from our four chests on the next floor. I bet. I bet it's magic skin. Magic skin. Magic skin. And just for a change, magic skin. If I was if I was to guess, that would be my uh, my number one guess. Did you just steal my key, you little shist shyster? I kind of wanted that. Oh, just look at that! Oh, just insta kills it. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Stole my key. Oh look, it's magic skin. <gasps> Dead eye. Actual homing. <laughs> oh my lord. This is uh, unprecedented. Wasn't expecting to get these. Dry baby. Also, by the way, we've now got hit twice and taken no damage. Does that mean our thick bones thing that we just got actually procs twice? Even though we only get like a five percent chance per bone heart, so we've only got a we've only got a ten percent chance to negate damage, and we just negated two hits in a row. Pretty good. Boom. Came to the right. Mr. Mega. Oh, it's it's Glitch Monstro. Fear him, for he is death incarnate. Ooh, key. Baby, 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 baby. Right, let me quickly go and open my last chest. I don't know why I'm going to do it, because we all know what it's going to be. Oh, it could be secretion instead, though. It could always be secretion. Oh, there's pins in here. Hello. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll accept. Right, go with the floor. Secretion doing a good job. More pins. I feel like they've done a good job with those pins in these rooms, though. They're timed, like, just right to not be too big of a problem, but still be a nuisance. Beautiful. Crown of Greed. Um, unfortunately, let's look down. I really like the Crown of Greed, by the way. I, I have spoken to the developer and said that they need to, um... They need to tweak these to make sure they don't drop in the chest, because there's just no point. You can only drop earlier floors. So I'm, I think they're going to do that eventually. Also, we actually had um, a big discussion in the modding Discord generally about Repentance Plus. Because I think pretty much everyone in the community agrees it's one of the least balanced um, big mod packs out there. Which obviously... It's not terrible, it's just there's a lot of items in there, a lot of things in there that aren't particularly well balanced. And everyone spoke pretty passionately. It was quite a, quite a heated debate about what should be done, what things need to be changed, all that sort of stuff. Luckily, the developer took it quite well, and we, we all we all kind of said that we're all saying it's in good faith. We all love the mod and want to see it improve. And they took a lot of the feedback on board, like stuff like the, the broken heart pickup existing, the Enigma heart that just gives you a heart container, stuff like that. We're all just kind of like, those just need to go forever and never come back. <laughs> There's no point in existing. And there was a few items that we said really need tweaks, and there was a few items in there that we said, like, aren't really strong enough, or are too strong, stuff like that. And yeah, like I said, the developer took it on really well. I was really happy with the discussion that we had. 
I'm just really glad they were so open to uh, to discussion about their mod. A lot of I feel like uh, one of the big problems in modding um, and in in any any sort of game really that I've come across at least is that people often um, get very bogged down in their own creations, their own ideas. Like they make something, and whether it's balanced or not. They won't change it because they made it and they think it's right. And honestly, I'm a, I'm also at massive fault to this exact problem. I made a bunch of rooms for a mod called Expand the Gungeon for Enter the Gungeon, and they were awful. They were genuinely terrible rooms, and I just refused to remove them from the mod. I kept tweaking them and trying to balance them, but in the end, I finally removed them and said, yep, everyone was right, they're bad. And it's, it's just difficult to get out of that mindset. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys in the next one.